Hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and in today's video I am going to show you a trick for how to trim or remove spaces in column headers using Power Query. Now, what we are basically going to do is you have a data source that the column headers have the names you know of the headers, they have spaces on it. This is a typical case when you are importing data from all the systems. And uh, it is quite annoying. You don't want to do that cleaning one on one. So I'll show you a very quick trick on how to do it on all of them at the same time. So let's start. Okay, so this is how our data source looks like. Yeah. And nothing strange uh, from the naked eye, but if you look into every header, you will see, do you see there the spaces? So every column has a space. Now, this is not a huge problem because there are not so many columns, but imagine if you would have a huge data set. So if you want to clean them all at once, it can become a pain. So I am actually going to show you how to do this like very, very quickly. So first of all, let's import the Excel file into Power BI. We select it, edit, And now here we have um, everything imported. As you can see here, do you see the spaces? So a lot of spaces in some places, not so many on others. So there is the possibility to actually go one-on-one -on -one and remove the space. But again, if there are a lot of columns, this is not a really good uh, method to do it. So the easiest way to do it is actually going here to transpose. Well, you can't do that. You have to first, let's see. Um, we have to demote, sorry, we have to demote the column headers first. So you get them, you see here they are as headers. And now we say demote them. And now you transpose. And here we have all our headers. So once we have it there, you right click, transform and trim. And you do a transpose again, and then you promote and look. Nice trick, eh? So again, first you demote, then you transpose, then you trim the text, then you transpose back, and then you promote. And you are done, my friend. Easy. Now, I don't know if there is a Power Query function for it. I haven't found it. So if you know about it, just let me know and I will make a video about it. But um because i haven't found it I, this is the way i do it i thought it would be useful for you so this is all for today if you liked the video please let me know by liking it or sharing it i would appreciate that a lot if you have any comments questions suggestions let me know on the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, subscribe i publish power bi videos every week one last thing if you want to get notifications when I publish a new video, make sure you click on the bell next to the subscribe button. For some reason, YouTube is not doing that anymore. You have to active tell YouTube that you want to receive the notification. So if you want to know when I publish a new video, click the bell and you will get a notification. Have a great evening. Bye.